already logged in. Now, what you're going to see when you run your report is I'm just going to come up here to the top, which is the same thing I just showed you. Ooh, I love a tool. I'm showing my geek. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on. You know, it's hard because you can subscribe to a lot of different tools. This one is definitely worth subscribing to. The basic account is $99 a month, and that might like get you in the throat a little bit, but when you see what this tool can do, you'll be like, I want that. All right, so we're gonna go back here to find ability, just on the main screen at the very top. And this is the same thing as the homepage screen as well. Now I'm gonna get a dashboard of all of my ranking. Oh, I love a dashboard. So you'll see here that I have 557 keywords I currently rank for. It also tells you like how many backlinks. So I have almost 2,000 backlinks. Backlinks are when other sites are linking from their site to my site. And these are very important because they're like one directional endorsements from other people's websites back to yours. I like to think of them like um, a restaurant review. You have a fabulous dinner and then you go on to like Yelp or some other website and you endorse that restaurant and how great they are. Similar to a backlink is, man, she spoke here, she did this, we love that. And then they link from that, their site back to yours, which is gold for Google. They love those one directional backlinks. So I've got a nice backlink profile. Now we're gonna come down here, look at this. So you might think, well, why would anyone from internationally visit my website? Well, you can see here that I have quite an interesting spread of people who are visiting my site from the US to the UK, Canada, Australia, Denmark, and, uh, um, Spain, the Netherlands. I guess I'm huge in the Netherlands. It's only about this much search, so maybe not really huge. <laughs> it also tells you how much people are coming from mobile devices and other. So this can be very, very telling about are you getting reach internationally and not just by um, uh, US uh, searches. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click top organic keywords. This is gonna give me a master list of all the keywords that my website currently ranks for. I think a lot of people don't even know these kinds of tools exist. And I love, I love the data because the power is in the data. If you know how you're ranking, then you can hold the people who have said they're doing SEO for you, you can really hold them to task and make sure they're actually doing what you're paying them to do. So let's come down here. You'll see right now, let me walk you through what you're seeing here. So the first one is the exact keyword phrase, findability. So I rank number two for the word findability. It's 52% of my total traffic to my website. So people really love that phrase. And it gets 880 searches per month. Now remember that's one month worth of data. And I'll take that, but then you have to times that by 12 to get the full year, which is, I don't do math in my head, but that's a lot. So 880 is a lot. I'm very happy with that phrase. And you'll see here that we've got the exact page that ranks for it, which is my homepage. Now let's take a, take a look and see what other keywords I currently rank for. So SEO coaching is the number two keyword that I rank for. I'm in sixth position. So if you think about a search result page, there's 10 positions on a search result page. Above the fold means I haven't scrolled down yet. It's an old newspaper concept. So if I have a newspaper folded up, above the fold is the newspaper, fold it down, that's below the fold. Why they use a newspaper reference for an internet search, I have no idea, but here we are. So ideally, I wanna make sure that I'm above the fold. That would be one to five. And then six is just below the fold. Now here's the scary stats is 86% never scroll down. They're just, they make a decision right at the top. And then 92% never go to page two. They say the best place to bury a dead body is on page two of Google. <laughs> so just keep that in mind that if you're on page two, eh, not really gonna be helpful. We wanna make sure that you're on page one. So you'll see SEO coaching, I'm just slightly below the fold. It gives me 7% of the total traffic to my website and people search that phrase 320 times per month on average over 12 months. That's a good keyword for me. I'm ranking for SEO coaching. I could do that all day, every day. That's my jam. So SEO coaching is definitely where I wanna rank. Then we come down, of course, you're gonna always rank for your name, but I love to see that actually Findability University is not the number one way people are searching for me. Now I got 84, which is an excellent score, 
but there's always room for improvement. So as you go down, I've just looked at this whole area right here, performance, mobile, SEO, and security. Now, if you scroll down, you're gonna be able to get very specific feedback on how to make these better. So what I would do is you can come up to this little share button right here, top right corner, and you can share it on Twitter, you can share it on Facebook, or on Inst uh, LinkedIn if you want to, or you can just come up, here's my little kind of hack, so you don't have to give me your email address and still get the report. You come up here in Chrome to File and Print. Now you're able to get all the goodies from this report without ever giving them your email address. Woohoo! Try not to give out your email, because <laughs> trust me, especially with HubSpot, they will never stop emailing you. No matter how many times you unsubscribe, they keep showing up in your inbox. So remember, you are in control. You own the keys to your website kingdom. Run SEMrush.com, get the keywords you're currently ranking for, and then go to Website Grader and see how you can continue to tune up your website. These elements are so important to Google and they should be important to you. Program And number one, it allows you to analyze your website. Before starting your competition analysis, it's always important to see how your own site is performing on various perimeters before you start seeing what your competitors are doing. So you want to make sure your site is up and running properly as well. And three of the most important things you should know about your site are, um, what are the top organic keywords that you're using? Uh, what's organic search positions against, you know, against everybody else? And then the total number of black uh, backlinks. I'm going to give you a better view of this here so that you can see it. But what you would do is just type in your domain name right here in the search bar and then select domain analytics from the drop down menu and then hit search. The report's going to give you an overview of how your site is performing on perimeters such as traffic from organic search and paid search, backlinks, organic keywords, paid keywords and a whole lot more. So you can see here, you know, all the different things that pop up. Now right here, you can dig in a little bit deeper. I want you to go ahead um, and, and notice here where you can click on the organic search. And this is gonna give you data on your site's organic keywords, your total traffic and organic position changes. So you can see that you can dig in even more. You can look at paid advertising, organic traffic, uh, different traffic and analytics. So it helps you to dig in deeper and it's all gonna be related to your web uh, domain name. You can go ahead over here and click on back links and it will give you more information about your site, all the backlinks that it's currently using, the number of referring domains, the types of backlinks, the text, the image, the form, and a percentage split of follow versus no follow links. So you can get all that information and find out which ones are you know, giving working, which ones are not. One of the cool things is, is you can export all of this data into an Excel sheet and then just really analyze it. And you can also watch um, how the data changes over time after you make some tweaks. Now this is where it really starts getting helpful. You can identify your organic competitors. It's one of the chief elements involved in dominating search results. The aim here is to understand what your competitors are doing and then you do it even better. To identify your organic competitor, simply type your domain name in the SEMrush search bar and then navigate to domain, domain analytics slash competitors, okay? And then this is the screen that will come up. After that, you want to know, you want to hover over these bubbles. I'm going to give you a better um, view of that. You're going to hover over each bubble and then that's going to give you even more detailed information of your competitors. As you can see, you have keywords, um, their traffic, everything related to your competitor. And when you scroll down, you'll find the organic competitors table. So you'll even get more detailed information. And you wanna pay close attention to the competition level, common keywords, and search engine keywords. These are all the things that are gonna help you beat your competitors. See, now you know who you're trying to beat. Who is it that you're trying to outrank? And this is, once you discover who those competitors are, then you can start watching them and watching your, um, making tweaks to your own website so you can outrank them. Let's go to feature number three. 
you can do a site audit and fix errors, which is kind of cool. So to do a site audit, you want to click on add new project, enter the details, and then select set up site audit. After you do that, this screen here will come up and it's going to tell you areas that are doing well and areas that might need to be fixed. And as you can see right here in red, there's 25 errors and you can go in and actually find out what those errors are and how you can fix them. Um, even look down here, you have 58 pages that don't have their made, uh, meta descriptions. So they will lead you to those pages so that you can fix that. Um, once you start getting a huge website, sometimes it's hard to keep on track of all that. So this is going to, this site, this software tool is going to go in and help you find them so that you can make it better and fix those errors. Now, once you've ran the audit a few times, you can even ask it just to run the audit on certain pages, because once you've ran it, you know, a couple times on your whole site, you're going to find that maybe just your newer pages need an audit and not the older ones. All right, number four. You can all, um, SEMrush also has an on-page SEO, search engine optimization checker. Now, what does this mean? With an on-page checker, SEO checker, you can promptly check to see if your content complies with all of the on-page and off-page SEO elements, like your content's relevancy and quality, backlinks, tr trustworthiness, and reputation, uh, the page title, H1 and H2 tags, and made a description. So it's going to make sure that you're in compliance with all of these things. So every page on your website gets analyzed, and then you're going to be given instant actionable SEO tips to optimize these pages. So that you can see next, you can go ahead and click on ideas. And then you're, you're going to be given a list of ideas for that site. So here we have content and there's a whole bunch of ideas to help you optimize your website. The fifth feature, PPC analysis. With SEMrush, you can keep a tab on the keywords that your competitors are targeting, their ranking in SERPs, and even have a sneak peek at their ad copies. How cool is that? Now I've got a small page here. Let's go on. Um, you can go ahead and um, pull this up and you can see all of the ads that they're running and how, how many keywords that they have, which ones are being seen. So this is really useful information. It's going to help you compete with your competitors. Now, while you don't want to completely copy your competitors' ads, you can look at them, uh, the layout, the wording, and some of the keywords, and use them in your own ad copies. And like I said, you don't want to copy them and get the same results. You want to outdo them and do even better. So this tool is really vital if you've been struggling with search engine optimization, trying to find keywords, and figuring out who your competitors are. This software tool does it all. So go ahead and click the link below. Give me... Um, thumbs up, hit that like button as well. And let me know what you think. Go to check out that 14 day trial and let me know what you think about it. I'd be, I'd be happy to have some um, feedback on that. All right. Until I see you on the next video, you have a good one.